Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So in this video, we will talk about playwright interview questions. So what should you prepare before going to the interview for the playwright? Particularly, we will discuss about all the question, possible questions that can be asked in the playwright and important things you should prepare before going to the interview. So in this uh, video, we will discuss about uh, possible questions and how should you answer. I won't give uh, definition of each and every question or answer of each and every question. But I will tell you from where you get the source and uh, how you should answer that and uh, what should all things you should prepare. So first thing is like uh, this is the documentation you should not till now and uh, you should prepare each and everything of the playwright documentation if well if you can then you should but <laughs> let's start by one by one question that possibly can be asked. So first of all basic preparation. So they won't directly ask like what is playwright but you should know like what is playwright if you are giving a interview for the playwright role <laughs> and what is uh, like set up uh, playwright with VS code. So you should know this command npm install playwright. So if they ask uh, to do some task, you should be able to set up playwright quickly. And uh, before going to interview, I suggest like practice uh, some playwright uh, codes. First of all, set up while setting up what files get generated, how you can directly integrate with git and all those things you can directly try while installing only. So you can just check that out and you should be confident about basic things. So your confidence get higher. So after that what they can ask is like uh, how does playwright different from other testing framework like selenium or cypress so based on your uh, previous experience they can ask like if you have uh, worked with any other tool right uh, selenium or any other tool uh, before uh, switching to playwright then they ask like what is the difference between that so in that question you can answer like uh, uh, advantages of playwright playwright has auto weights playwrights comparing screenshot is very easy in playwright installation is very easy playwright is faster and in other tools like if it is selenium you can say in selenium we have to integrate third party tools for reporting and all and uh, if it is cypress you can say like in cypress uh, uh, we can do mobile or uh, automation as well but in playwright we can't so those things uh, you can compare and benefits of playwright or other tools that uh, we talk and limitations of the playwright. So they sometimes ask limitation of the playwright just to make sure like what all things you need know about the playwright and how much you practiced about playwright. So some of the common uh, limitations are like uh, it doesn't support native applications uh, automation. It doesn't uh, have large community to get the help like Selenium have. And uh, some other limitation you can uh, tell is uh, it supports uh, chromium based browsers only so those things you can uh, prepare but you should prepare one more limitation that is like uh, very limited people know or you face during while doing automation only so those things also you should uh, discuss that will give you a good impression like that you know the, this tool very deeply so other thing is like uh, common actions so when you are doing uh, automation with any of the tools right not just play right any of the tools you, what you should know is how to navigate how to click how to type how to select uh, something from the drop down how to click on checkbox and how to click on radio button so these are the common things in the forms or any of the website you want to automate like while as a user like when you use the website what you do only this thing you will do right so you should know how to do this so they won't directly ask like tell me about uh, how you should click in playwright they may ask uh, give you some small task to automate so whenever you are uh, doing that task it possibly be some form sign up form or login or uh, some shopping cart website so those kind of or chat website those kind of thing will be there and uh, in that also you only using these things only so you, uh, if you have prepared this or practice this before the interview you will be uh, confident about how to do that and which method you should use and of course finding x path that i uh, forgot to add but you should know like how to find the locator so at least right so you should practice like uh, page by locator page by dollar x and those things and uh, uh, in worst condition you can find the x path and put in dollar x so those things you should try other is trending questions so how do you take a screenshot using playwright so taking screenshot is very easy using playwright but uh, one more thing they will ask that i forgot to add here is how to compare screenshot using the playwright 
because of this compare functionality only many people use this playwright uh, uh, <coughs> framework right or play, playwright tool for automation so you should uh, tell them like you need to keep one screenshot and you can compare with that while running the uh, automation or if it does you doesn't have put the question so first time when you run that it will generate one file and uh, second time when you run same test it will compare with previous file so those th things you should practice so you will uh, come to know like in details like how exactly these things are working and you can answer this so answering such question give uh, confidence and uh, says like how much uh, things you know about the playwright same thing for how to uh, handle file uploads and downloads in playwright these things also you should practice and only you get confidence about that just remembering method won't give that much confidence so i have created videos for both and you can just check that out in the uh, uh, <clears throat> playlist I can give in I icon so you can just uh, try it out if you doesn't have till but if you are going in end moments and just uh, referring then just uh, go through the methods like which methods you can use and what parameters you can pass other thing is knowledge based questions like how much knowledge you have about the player right so in this they will ask is like types of inbuilt reports which you have uh, used like playwright supports so many reporters like dot reporters line reporters uh, uh, those reporters we have already discussed in one of the videos and uh, uh, more importantly like which you have used like HTML reporter most of people you have used so you can tell that and you can tell that like if you have used git actions then you can see tell them I have used git reporter or dot reporter in that uh, <coughs> particular use case so it will give more good impression over others uh, types of weight supported and auto weights so playwright supports so many weights right and uh, for auto weight is a special feature for playwright so they may ask about it so you can just answer like uh, playwright has auto weights feature and which, which will automatically wait for the uh, given time for while uh, element is appearing or when you click the events and then running the test so this is also like uh, mostly while we are running the test we run using one method only but in running test uh, we can use uh, uh, like how to run particular file they can ask like i want to run only one test i can how i can run uh, how i can run uh, test in the suits using text and annotation so you can use like text and you can run that in the suits also they can ask like uh, if i want to run test case at 48 line number how can i run so that for that also we have uh, command line uh, command so you can uh, just go through those commands and you can answer these questions and assertions assertions are very important to make sure like uh, whatever testing you have done is actually verifying something or not assertion is the point where test cases we are validating the results so like you can tell about expect method and how expect method work with different parameters so before going to interview just prepare around the assertions and more of the advanced questions so if you have knowledge basic knowledge then that is fine but if you are going with senior uh, roles or with more experienced roles then it, this advanced questions are very important uh, like how you can integrate playwright with continuous integration pipelines so you, you just need to prepare how you can do this but uh, for this uh, playwright directly support some of the uh, pipelines like github actions uh, ci tools uh, and uh, any other tools like uh, continuous jenkins so you can just prepare how you can do that they have directly commands and uh, you can set up using that other thing is page object model with the playwright so they will ask uh, how your framework looks like and you can uh, use this page object model with the playwright and I have created a very nice video around that and you can just watch that how page object model will work with playwright and it is very easy and uh, this, some questions around authentications and login so how you can maintain uh, login or how you can use authentic handle authentication token or CSRF tokens right so you can always tell like we can use cookies with the playwright or in apis you can store cookies and use that cookies and forward that cookie in the next session to maintain the sessions so those things you can prepare around that so these are the advanced questions and uh, more you can prepare then it will always benefit uh, it will give you more benefit and more confident so that's it in playwright if you have any question feel free to ask please like this video and comment your feedback in the video 
uh, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon yeah, if you are QA then uh, definitely share it to your QA friend as well it will boost my confidence as well and follow us on social media links are given in the descriptions so thank you